Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Zion Children's Church this morning. It's good to, well, I can't see you, but you can see us, yeah. can't you? Yeah. Can't they? But welcome. Hey, and Pastor Greg is here. Have you got something good to tell the children this oh, morning? Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, good, good. Hello, boys and girls. It's so great to be here with you. I wish we could see you in church, oh, and we're going to look forward to that day when yeah. they all get back there again. Mm -hmm. We had some in church today, yeah, we too. Had, had two yes. little children yeah. in church. Yeah. But what I'd like to talk about mm -hmm. today is how God protects us, mm -hmm. and He protects us very well. Right. You know, there's a psalm in the Bible, Psalm mm -hmm. 91, and mm -hmm. it talks to us about God being a refuge. Children, can you say that? Refuge. refuge. He is a refuge in times refuge. of trouble. Now, so that, what, what's a refuge? What's a refuge? Well, I'm, I'm going to get to that here okay. a little bit, but I want to tell you a little story first, and the boys and girls a little story, too. Mm -hmm. That's like once when I got lost a long, long time ago when I was just a little boy, Thank and we were in a big department store in Austin, Texas. It was, it's not even there anymore. It's called Shopper's World. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Really big place. Huh? And anyhow, I got lost and away from Mommy. Yeah. Because I hunt around the toy department just a little bit too long. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, that, that really scared me. I bet you were so scared. So I, mm -hmm. I just stood there and I prayed to God, God, please help me get back to my mommy. And I looked over the direction and probably about 15 feet away was this little, it looked like a little hut and it had some chairs in it. And it looked like a great place for kids. And what it, what it said over it was children's shelter. I said, I wonder, I bet you I can get some help there. So I went oh, there, smart thinking. and there was a nice lady that was there, and she got on this microphone and announced over the microphone, my name and my mother's name, and he's here at this area, and this is where it's here, and it yeah. didn't take long at, at all. I bet and your I was mom was scared too, looking at you. Yeah. With mom, Ooh, yeah. yeah, oh yeah. yeah. She said, don't you ever do that again, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and no, I didn't. But you, you know what? There is, there's a book in the Bible that talks about that, some verses in the Bible okay. that talks about how God is a shelter for all of us, a refuge, if you will. And it's Psalm 91, see, verses I... 9 through 16. Could you maybe look that yeah, up oh, and, and read yeah, that? Yeah, here it is, right here. Now, it start with verse what? Verses 9, 9 through... through 16. Okay. It says, If you make the Lord your refuge... If you make the Most High your shelter, uh -huh. no evil will conquer you. Wow. Whoa. That's no plague cool. will come near you, your home. That old virus won't come near us, will it? For he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. Whoa, we got all of us have an angel, don't we? Yes. They will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a rock. Wow. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. And you were just a little boy, but you yeah, was prayed just a little to boy, Jesus. But I prayed to Jesus, yes. yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. He says, when they call on me, I will answer. He answered you, didn't he, yes. Pastor Greg? I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? That's pretty awesome, isn't wow. it? Wow, we've got an yeah. angel, we've got protection. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You know, boys and girls, let's just kind of go over this one more time again. I'm going to ask some questions here, and I'm going to pose them to you, and you talk to your mommy and your daddy about that, too. And then I'm also going to pose it to garden granny. Granny, okay? Well, children and garden granny, what is a refuge, then? Um, well, a place you can go where there won't be any trouble or nothing will hurt you. A place that you're safe. Uh, safe, yeah. A safe, safe place. Safe place. Yeah. yeah. Nothing I've seen will signs hurt you. like that on buildings. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. A safe place. Or a, as the Bible talks about, the Psalms talk about, is a shelter. Uh -huh. You know, shelter could be a place where you run out, and all of a sudden the storm happens, and it'll mm -hmm. keep you safe. You know, right. that type uh -huh. of thing. Mm -hmm. Or an underground shelter. Or, or a whatever. tent, maybe. Or a so, tent. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. It's a shelter, and yeah. it keeps you safe. Right. Okay. Now, what happens, children? And what happens, Garden Granny, when you make the Lord your refuge? Well, he just said that no harm would come to us. No harm overtakes no plague. you. Wow. No plague, like this old coronavirus thing. Uh -huh. No, no, Nothing's going to hurt us. Yeah, it won't hurt you, no. But first we got to make him right. the Lord of our life. The Lord mm -hmm. of our life, yes, and go to him when we're, mm -hmm. when we're afraid and also when we're happy, too, mm -hmm. and share our joy with him, too. Mm -hmm. Now, one more question boys and girls and garden granny 
What does promise God promise to us when we call upon Him? He said He would answer us. He's going to answer us. Yes. Boy, yes, yes. Yeah. Sometimes it's not the exact answer yeah. that we're looking for, yeah. uh -huh. but it will always keep us safe from harm. But your mother and your father must have taught you so well about Jesus as a little child who yeah. prayed to God. Yeah, you know, I did not miss a day of Sunday school. Oh, so you knew, I did you not knew miss to pray. Day, except one time when I got the measles. Oh, yeah. No, don't, don't go to church with the measles. No, <laughs> no, no, no if no. you're sick, no, no. In that, doesn't that give you a safe feeling to yes. know that God will, and God does not ever lie. He tells the truth. So what he said, boys and girls, what God says in this book, this Bible, the true word of God, God never lies. Every, you can believe every word in this book, can't you, Pastor? You absolutely, absolutely. can. It's the true mm -hmm. word, word of, of God. God. Yeah. yeah. You know, the Lord is our refuge, mm -hmm. where He is a shelter for us, a safe, safe place, place for us, mm -hmm. shelter from harm and danger and evil. Mm -hmm. And He promises even to send His angels to us, oh. like the Bible passage oh. said, yeah. and keep a guard us from harm. That right. doesn't mm -hmm. happen. Mm -hmm. And He, God, is ready to answer your prayers mm -hmm. anytime that we need Him. Amen. He mm -hmm. truly is our refuge and, and our, our shelter. shelter. Yeah. Garden Amen. Granny, would you close us out maybe okay. with a prayer for the yeah. children here? I just and... want to give them a blessing. Yeah. Boys and girls, just bow your heads just for a minute. I want to give you a good blessing for the week. I love you guys so much. And I promise you we're going to get to be together again soon. We had two little children today, that, and we had a little uh, children's sermon. But, Lord Jesus, I ask you to keep the boys and girls safe this week. Amen. Let no harm come to them. Let them know that you are their shelter. You are their safe place. And don't let fear come anywhere near them. Children, you will not walk in fear this week, but there will be joy in your heart, and you will have protection. Your angel will watch over you, and you just be good boys and girls. Obey mommy and daddy. And you talk to Jesus tonight. You talk to him. He hears your prayers too. You don't have to be a grown-up to get your prayers heard. Just like Pastor Greg said, he was a little bitty boy, and he got lost, and he prayed, and God kept him safe until his mommy came and got him. I love you guys. Take care. Mm -mm. Hug. Amen. Big Amen. Hug. Boys Big and girls, hug. we'll see you next week. We love you. Be good. Bye-bye now. <laughs>